Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to export the content in the MPP file to some the format. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this one is an example of the Microsoft project MPP file. Here, I have some content. And now, okay, so here we have, I will select some of the area of the content here from the task name. Okay. I will select all of the task here. And you can see here on the uh, under the task menus, we have a copy feature. Okay, double click on this one, and you see here we have a copy. I can click on the copy. Yeah, so after that, all of the data, selected data here, has been copied to the clipboard. Okay. So now you can open some some file, either uh, Excel file, to copy it. I will create a uh, create a new blank. Okay, you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven seven column. Okay, so now I will make this one make uh, okay one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so after that I can it here yes so you can see here all of the content from the uh, MPP file had been copied into the Excel file here so after that you can do the adjust for the column size here to make it look better okay cool You can make this one smaller, smaller. Yes, it look perfect for now. Okay, close this one here. So you can see under the copy, we have another feature, it copy to emit. So meaning, okay, when you click on this one here, we have some the option. Uh, all of the content, selected content, will be copied into uh, an image file. So we have select the render image e for screen, and the copy feature here we have an option e row on screen. So when you select the row on screen here, meaning you are only able to capture the image for the selected column from the zero to um, 20, 23 because it is displaying on only one screen and if you select the option E selected row it will it will uh, capture the image with all of the row you have this selected here okay so now I will select this one I will select the first one row on screen first and I will open a wood file blank document okay I will put it here I will zoom it to make it bigger yeah so you can see here for now we have only 20 uh, 24 record had been put to this the image okay so I will delete this one and I will come back to the MPP file and I will select the copy feature to emit to and select the row. I will select this one. Okay, back to the word file. I will put it here. Okay, cool. So now you can see we have a uh, 86 row has been copied to the image. Cool, it look very good for now. So now you can deliver this one to the client or the team member. It look perfect. 
ok cool so now i will back to the mpp file here oh this one is the excel file ok i will close this one and close it one too back to the mpp file ok so you click on the file and the save it yeah so you click on the pro button here you select the destination under the save, save at time we have the drop down button here here you can see we have a lot of the format we have the microsoft mpp file microsoft project template P pdf okay so i will save it in the pdf first save to the desktop mini file this one i open the file here okay you can see here we have all of the data copy to this file all right so for now we have some the percentage percent of the percent column had been copied to another page and it looks not good okay and we are able to export the content to another format by selecting your file, save it, and browse desktop. And you select another file in Excel workbook. You save this one, click on next, and the selected data. And here for the create a map for or using the map here, so I will select the new map. I will export the task, select the checkbox task. The export file will export include the header of the file. I click on the next button here. So on this page we have to do the mapping feature. I click on this one to select the mapping. The first one I will to get the name. It will automatically mapping to the Excel field in name and the data type is text. Um, the second one it should be the okay we open the PDF file to see the first one in name duration start finish predecessor okay duration duration start read it um pretty special and reset tie resource tie come back to see one reset name okay cool and now i will click you can see here under the preview session we are able to view the the preview data after you export or save it to the excel file okay click on the next button finish open the file here yeah we have a new file in xsl XLSX file format has been accepted here. Yeah. So now you can go ahead to do the adjust the column size to make it look better. Okay. I will close this one. And now back to the file and save it. I will select the desktop and I will select the another either CSV. Save it in an order format. Okay, it did not allow. Okay, try to save you again. Save in an order file format. 
is your setting in do not allow to save the file in older file format to change the setting navigator you see oh, okay so for now it does not allow, allow you to save it to the csv file with the older format okay we can click on this one and save it you we have some another file in html file so you can import this to the HTML file. Okay, let me try to import this. Yeah, software development plan dot HTML file. Okay, cool. So now you, I come back to this one, and I, we have another feature in export. And for the export, you are able to export it to the PDF or XPS file. I will select the PDF file first uh, because we already have uh, the file with the same name here. So I will change the name. Okay. Yeah, look good. Close this one. Yeah, it look good too. Okay, so I hope hope uh, this video will helpful for you. And after you finish this video, you know how to export the content from the mpp file to some the format of the file and you can use that format to uh, add, as, add as the input for another system or can deliver it to the client or the team to do the review or something like that okay hope that helped and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and talk to you later